Hi Leo, welcome to your week ahead reading for May 3rd through May 9th. I've already laid it out here because actually I was starting to get into the reading and the camera shut off. So I was about three minutes in and so it's just, it's fine. I haven't done the little guys yet. Anyway, um, hi. So this is May 3rd through May 9th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is just a general reading. If it happens to be romance heavy or work heavy or just all, you know, all family heavy, everything, whatever falls out, we take a look at. Um, and if this is about a person, it could be their moon rising or Venus sign also, as well as your moon rising or Venus sign. Okay, so we have the Magician, Gemini, Aries, or Virgo, the Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, that could be Aries, Page of Wands, Six of Wands, Three of Swords, Eight of Wands. All right, so work feels um, like you're content with work feels like you have feel like you have enough efficacy there that it's settled and established and your things are have settled down and you feel like you have a good feel for what you can accomplish or what the shifts you're going to get or what the um workload's going to be it feels you feel like you've got that like that's good work feels good all right so this feels like it's with a person but is it romantic or like what is going on? It's something that you're not quite settled with though. There's some uncertainty here. What's this? Unless it is about work, unless it's about a person at work. What's this page of wands for Leo? What's this page of wands for Leo? Eight of cups. So did you, did it, did it, was it starting to happen? And then you're like, oh no. Got to kind of put it down with something starting and then you, as quickly as it started, you had to put it on hold. Or is this the remnants of somebody coming back and you're like, no, I'm not doing you now. I'm doing this new thing now. What's this six of wands about? Because work is good. Work feels good. There's no issue with work. What's this six of wands? So is this about someone from your past coming back? And it kind of has unsettled you a little bit. Is that what that sort of uncertainty or that is about? King of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords. This is Three of Swords. So is that what it is? It's some, something got started and as quick as it got started, it got rerouted or shelved or um, kind of called into question. What... Is this about you having to make a decision or about there being clear communication? Oh, this is about one of you not saying or saying how you feel. Nobody said anything yet. You don't have any direction. So this isn't about someone from your past coming back in. Hallelujah. This is about somebody new and you two aren't on the same page yet because there hasn't been clear communication. There also might have been a needing to shelve said clear communication because maybe work has gotten more demanding or has work has shifted. It's still reliable and steady and there, but as things develop outside in the world, that's affecting your job somehow and you're adjusting to changes. So it could be that there's not a lot of opportunity to kind of, you know, express how you feel or talk about said feelings with this person. Perhaps you're waiting, you don't know how they feel and you're waiting to see if you should or if they're going to. It's kind of that unknown. Um, but whatever it is, it got what it, it's kind of on the back burner or it's kind of taken a little shift over here because work seems to be, managing work seems to be a focus. Something has kind of come in through work recently that has prevented the opportunity for you two to get to know each other better. It's been on hold. It's not gone away. It's just something came in and put you two starting to talk a little bit more on hold. What's this eight of wands? Is that what happened? What's this eight of wands? Oh, did you get moved to another site for work? Is okay. So it looks like this person you were getting to know at work, um, that got put on hold because quite possibly you might be transferred to another site or you might've gotten promoted or there's, there's some kind of change. Uh, didn't I just say that? Sorry, I'm repeating myself here. There's a change coming in at work, quite possibly with a different assignment or um, more shifts, different shifts, different time of day shifts, whatever, that kind of got in the way of you and this person, probably a coworker, starting to kind of progress. So um, 
the, that the adjusting to that change or that new incoming information is uh, where your focus is. And you're there's a little bit bummed. Um, you're feeling a little bit bummed like, well, shoot, how are me and this person going to communicate now? Or I never got to find out how they felt or I couldn't really tell. Oh, I enjoyed flirting with this person. Oh, darn. That sort of thing. Um, so it's like, oh, time to get creative because now you're like, well, how, how is that going to work with me and the new person? And that's, it seems to be that this work, it's, it's about adjusting to both changes. Like there's an interest with this person. There's a reluctance by you to make the first move. You really would prefer that they, um, let you know that they tell you how they feel, especially now you're hoping to see that they still initiate communication. Now that your shift is different. Now that your work site is different, there's a change, um, with your work, the stability and money is still there. It's just a change as far as where or how you're doing the work. What's this four of swords about for Leo? Judgment. Good. Because you're, it, it's very possible somebody from um, recently that you're walking away from and because you're more interested in this new person right there with you. Uh, that you're just like, no, nah, I'm gay. Don't want to deal with that. If it has nothing to do with a person from your past. You know, and, and you'd shut that down if it did anyway. Um, this is about you having to adjust to new changes. You having to adjust to new work and um, work environment, work shifts, work whatever, and putting, getting to know this person on hold, but you don't want to, which I don't blame you. It's, it's interesting. It's intriguing. It's fun. If it's not from work, it's a circle of friends or it's an old friend. I don't think it's a new friend because I don't think there's been a whole lot of time to get to know somebody new as a, just a friend. So it would have to be either a work friend, a coworker, or a known friend. And this is them, you two, just being in sync and being excited. You could tell, but then it's like, what's going to happen now with this? being shifted to over here or them being shifted or, you know, that's putting like a wrench in the works as far as communication or just being able to see each other every day or knowing that you're going to run into them, that sort of thing. What's this queen of wands? Queen of wands. Could be Aries. What's this queen of wands? This could be Gemini. This could be Gemini, Virgo, or Aries. What's this queen of wands? Nine of swords. Okay. So I think <laughs> it's funny because I think the changes of, at work, you're just like, okay, well now what? And you, you were really in the flow um, with the way things were. And now because of these changes, you're like, oh man, I have to recreate the flow. Okay, I, I'm going to have to deal with it. Okay, all right. You're up for it. It's fine. It's going to be fine. But um, it definitely feels like any kind of forward movement with this person, either from your past, from your pa past friend circle, not from your past, sorry, uh, from your friend circle, from your past. And again, I clarify that with um, a long lost friend that reaches out and you two are picking up where maybe you left off or there's renewed interest. They found you again. You're like, hey, how are you? And it goes from there. This is not your ex. This is a known friend from the past. So that has to kind of be put on hold before anything can really happen because of the changes at work that are going to demand your attention this week. And I have to remember not to treat this like a monthly reading <laughs> because it's like, oh, over the next couple weeks. No, um, weekly, weekly. So things are good. It's just that there's uncertainty and kind of like uh, about having to put you and this person on the back burner just because you're going to be dealing with changes this week. Work is still steady, stable, and you still are in the flow. Uh, I mean, you're still feeling very comfortable, but for the change that's coming and largely only because how it affects whether you're, you're going to still be able to deal with this person. Whatever you, you're doing for the Leos that I'm working for, you feel very confident and very comfortable in your job and that you can handle it. So these changes, the concern with the changes aren't about, oh, this new job, what am I going to do? It's not that. Rather, it might be just like a, more work in the same position or a new job site. So there's, that's how it's changed. But it's not like you're having to learn anything new per se. You're, it's more of an adjustment. And this person is just going to roll with it. But they have the same concerns too. Like, oh, like are they, you know, they really would like to be able to still see you every day or still be in communication with you the way you have been up until this point. But changes at work have 
are going to take precedent for a little bit. That's for Leo. Huh. Take time for relaxation and adventure. Yes. Don't get too caught up in the new changes at work and feeling like you need to, to be perfect at it instantly. Like it's going to be an adjustment and you're going to be adjusting to that. Allow yourself time for that. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect and up and running instantly. So, and, and you do deserve to be able to get to know this person and, and kind of delight in the potential of what could be. Yes, there's changes you're going to be adjusting to and making, and but you can also make other things and make room for other things happening in your life. Um, and I say that just because it's showing here because the Leo's I'm reading for, you're very good at what you do. You're very good at all the things and that's where you like to be. And so this is saying, you know what? Don't be too hard on yourself this week. Um, allow for some downtime and accept that there's going to be some adjustments, but that's all they are is adjustments. It's not a sentencing. It's not drudgery. It's not it's just a little adjustment. And you and this per person can certainly pick up where you left off. There's interest on their side as well. But it feels like they're just like, oh, I don't know if I should bring anything up either. Or And it's just going to go on like that. You'll, you two will still make an effort. There'll still be an attempt at communication all that. It just is going to have to go through the adjustment period. But it's still there, just like work is still there. All good. Just an adjustment. All right. What else for the video? Let's speak for the Let me turn on the fan. Queen of Pentacles. Yep, there's that. No, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles reversed. And six, this is like half wazy. I mean, I always turn it clockwise. So seven of swords reversed. So I think this is about, that could be Virgo. As far as the queen of, king of pentacles reversed and the seven of swords reversed, this could be you feeling a little bit out of sorts. Like, oh, what now? Got to kind of right this ship. It's just an adjustment. It's not anything that you have to spearhead. And perhaps that's what's disconcerting is you, you might not know quite what your role is expected or what it's going to be, what the newness is. And, um, it, it, it's, I feel like it's going to bug you though, the, the shift. Okay. Letting that one go. Cause it keeps, it keeps poking at me, <laughs> letting it go. Okay. And then this is you not worrying about it. This is you letting it go. This is you being like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to, I know it has a potential to make me worry, but it's just a change. It is not, and there's going to be more changes and you know that, but because you like to be pretty work secure or good at what you do. And on top of it, it's going to mess with you until you have the level of mastery or efficiency that you've had thus far. So that's kind of just one of those things where it's like, give yourself a break. Everybody gets there when they get there. All right. I hope this was helpful, Leo. This is, um, still a good week. Still a good week. There's some changes, but everything is pretty stable. You're going to take the reins and run with it anyway. So just remember to take time to relax a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Much love and support to you. And thank you for your service if you're an essential worker or first responder. Okay. All right, Leo, you have a good week. Much love and support to you. Take care.